Yeah, draft physics video. So on relativity again, uh, time dilation. Um, I don't know, whatever you want to call that <laughs> stuff. Uh, the idea that you can't test uh, for your speed, um, and I'm arguing that you can based on the constant of the speed of light. Okay, so the mindless marbles guy did post some snarky, stupid crappy comments, but he ended up in a little bit of a conversation with this Bob Hicks guy, and it is revealed, okay, <laughs> that the mindless marbles guy is saying you can't um, create a photon going perpendicular, that the photons always end up going forward, and, um, and that they go with the speed of light forward, which means that the light gets across the ship or to the other astronaut um, slower than it should um, but because you're time dilated you don't see it slower you speed it up because you're slow moving and everything else looks fast <clears throat> now it's all well and good as a statement but it's not true that no light goes backwards or any other direction so if we change the scenario to please him because he won't allow me to create perpendicular light. So think, think of it as a, I was thinking of a boat. <clears throat> Slow it all down. You have a big, big uh, Queen Mary or something. And you're launching little boats off of it. Now, he's arguing that I can't launch one perpendicular, you know, to the boat. <clears throat> he's saying I have to, they always end up going forward. Because it's the ones that I would launch forward. Say the boat's moving at 60 knots or whatever. It's the ones pointed forward that are the ones that will keep up with me and they'll seem like they're going perpendicular because as the boat moves they're moving and the, there's always a perpendicular you can always see them when you look oh yeah there it is oh yeah there it is is it's moving with you so he's not saying the little boat has the momentum of the big boat he's saying the little boats are at least in line with the big boat which is not the same argument as Piro's argument which is there's an actual momentum but anyway so the first problem is that if that's true you know then instead of going perpendicular the light does go forward to hit the hole it will take longer he's not saying it's going faster to do that so time will be wrong and arrival time will be wrong and the truth is the boat you launch backward will actually be the boat that gets to the other side the quickest and so that's really the argument. So I would argue that if you <coughs> created this test um, of the speed of light um, inside a spaceship, that um, if you shot light in three directions, which you thought to be three directions, forward, back, and forward, back, <laughs> and the middle, um, and even if you change those and you say forward's really double forward and middle is really forward and back is really uh, perpendicular there we go the truth is is the light by his argument say this thing's moving half the speed of light the emitter see he's arguing that as the emitter moves the this this is the photon that looks perpendicular because it keeps moving with the emitter um, but he's saying it's going actually just the speed of light. So if it's just going the speed of light, it obviously will take longer to get here, so it will not get to here in the correct amount of time. Where the one, say, released, <coughs> which technically looks backwards, which is the true perpendicular, that one, as, you, as the emitter moves forward, will look like it's backwards. It will look like it's going backwards because you're moving forward. But the truth is, it will be traveling the shortest distance, and it will arrive first. So if you just have a set of lights that go off, whatever light goes, if, if, if what you think is perpendicular, if something else goes faster, if something else appears to be going faster than the speed of light, the one you've chosen, the forward one, then you know that's telling you how fast you're going. So if you're saying this is the beam of light you think is perpendicular, Obviously, if this one gets here first, so whatever whatever one gets first gets to be red, and whatever one's second gets green, and whatever one's last gets blue or whatever. You just have a, a, a timing lights. And so the lights will tell you which one arrived at the other side first, and you'll know, um, this will be a test of your speed, 
that you're you're traveling at a certain speed because the one that's going to go the one that's going to get out you know this one will go through the hole in the side of the ship this one won't but this one's going to get to the side of the ship the fastest so this is going to be the fastest because this one's going the shortest distance in actual fact so i don't uh, i don't think you can undo that one um whether that's applicable to pyro scenario where they're actually arguing the light has two momentums you know then they have the problem of when it escapes into space it's going faster than the speed of light i think pyro would say that this one going forward somehow gets to this other side at the same time as the one going perpendicular and uh, that's obviously a paradoxical impossibility and all that mush and um, if that light was released to the to space, it would end up being going faster than the speed of light. So um, that's my new thought experiment test: is that you test a range of light in mo more than one direction, and whichever one gets to the other side first, you know that's true perpendicular, and you know that if it's behind you, you know behind what was perpendicular then you know you're going really fast. <laughs> so, it will work to test your speed. So, that's, uh, I think that's explained well enough. I don't think I have to go into further detail. Um, you know, uh, Mindless Marvels was a little bit more polite in his last comment before this one, so we'll cut him some slack on that. But, um, yeah, I'm just not, you know, you have to make arguments. If you're not going to make arguments, you know, all you're going to do is ridicule or do some kind of playing with my words. Um, again, you know, it's very nice to quote paragraphs of what I say, but I mean, I am the one that has the guts to actually make videos. You clowns don't. So I guess when you have the guts to make videos without scripts, um, then you might have a right to sit there and play the quotey game, quote money game. Because I'm sure I can, I can quote mine. Lots of physicists talking about. I can, I can look. People have done it to Feynman talking about uh, magnetism. You know, and his explanation is, in some sense, is very valid, saying how well, yeah, I can't really explain something to you unless you understand what I'm going to talk about, <laughs> um, and the idea that we know it this far and we don't know it any further. But you know, I can, I could sit there and just, I could just type. Virtual photon, virtual photon, virtual photon, bent nothing, bent nothing, bent nothing. I could do that all day long and just ridicule this concept that you believe in bending nothing moves matter and um, you, know, you call it space, but isn't that kind of a... I could just say nothing equals space, but not really. I could just write that all over again, right? Oh, I mean, space, what we thought was nothing, space, is supposed to be nothing. Well, no, it's actually something, and you can actually bend it, and uh, it forces matter to do shit. I could do that, couldn't I? And just, just for ridicule purposes? Hmm? Virtual photon, virtual photon, virtual photon. Oh, yeah, yeah, it exists and while we need it to make our math work, and then, then we get rid of it when we don't need it anymore. I mean, we can make it, and then we can kill it. See, it's okay. It doesn't matter. It's a zero sum, because, see, we create it to do stuff, and then we kill it. And therefore, it never existed. Isn't that cool? I could do that. So anyway, um, I re yeah, I, I, just, I really don't need you people. If you're not going to make something called a meaningful, a relevant contribution, I just don't need it. And again, if you... What are you what are you applauding? Ken videos? Uh you know. I'll just insult in Einstein. Is that you know why why aren't you making comments on his videos? Oh, because he probably has you blocked. Hmm, probably. Fuckers. Anyway, till next time. He has me blocked. I never said a rude thing on it in the comment section. And he has me blocked. But anyway. So, you know, you're going to get what you deserve if you just keep, if you keep pushing it. That's what's going to, I mean, I, I blocked uh, the cowboy on, uh, you know, I have to come up with some other way to describe the cowboy. <laughs> he's really a girl. 
Um, but anyway, I mean, if you if you go by actual size of his clitoris, it's just not big enough. Um, and um, on on the amendum channel, um, I didn't even read the comments. I, I, all I saw was the word "frivolous lawsuit," and that was enough right there. So you know, these people they don't even know what they're defending. But see, that's the irony. You have this corrupt, horribly corrupt legal system um, where principles don't matter, the law doesn't matter, precedent doesn't matter, not nothing really matters. It's just these arrogant assholes. And you see some of that leaking into things like physics. And it becomes this closed industry of uh, ideology. And these assholes don't see any threat. And what do they do? They, they harass the people who are actually challenging you know, that institutional bullshit. And then think of themselves as some outsider, some some rogue male. Not even close. Anyway. Girly men all the way down. So till next time. Didn't need that little extra add on, but I mean it's it is all you get. You know, the comments are just littered with crap, not arguments. Until next time.